Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. I am going to do a, another book review by Montacraft that's new and expanded. Now this has been out for a while, um, but it's an adult coloring book and it's called My Me Time. And like I said, this has been out for, oh, maybe since the middle of last year, I'm wanting to say, give or take. Let's see if I cut right. Well, no, it's been out since this year. I'm sorry, 2020. Copyright 2020. Um, this is what the back of the book looks like. More than 50 relaxing designs. This adult coloring book from Montecraft has more than 50 relaxing designs, including garden designs, cute, cute, cute creatures, and leisure moments. It provides hours of fun, calm, relaxation, stress relieving. Through creative expression, these beautiful designs are printed single-sidedly and range in complexity and detail from beginner to expert level. And it's got their website on it. And I will put down under the description their group, their uh, Facebook group uh, link, their art group link, everything, and where to get this book. And they've also got another design series out called just Mantra. Mantra MC, that's it. And I will have the link for that provided down there too. And now I'm going to let you know that Oh, there's a glare. Sorry about that. I can get that to stand up straight. There we go. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, I know what I was saying. Sorry, I lost my brain there. Um, I will only be showing you a little bit of the book. That way you guys can go order it yourself and be surprised with what's in it. We will start now. You may see some pictures in there that I've already, in here that I've already colored. You got your name and a um, test coloring page. But some of these pictures are really cute. You got the cutest little creatures. Um, anything there? Little children with animals. Got farm animals, and this is my favorite one. I just love deer, but. I haven't colored it yet because I'm afraid to tackle it. Got couples. There's one that I colored. This I think I colored that one at first. No, that was my second one I colored when I first got the book. Got cute little critters. That. There's one I did. I love that. I thought that was so cute. The Days of Innocence. Um, let me skip a little head here. That's cute. Those squirrels. This was the first picture I ever did in this book. I love this picture. Reminds me of me when I was younger because I always had a headset or headphones and a little Walkman with me. I was a product of the 80s. I have, I love my 80s music. I wish we were back in the 80s. I just, simpler time love the style of the 80s. I still miss it. Yes, I also had the big hair, all Florence and neon and tie-dye, or not tie-dye, excuse me, faded jeans and my 501s. I miss my 501s. Whoops. Little cute little cat. Little chickadee, perfect for Easter. Now this one here, I swear it looks like Ariel from Little Mermaid. The reason this is so shiny is because I used a thing called, um, it's acrylic gloss. You can get it at, um, it dries, uh, it's not a paint, it's a, uh, metallic medium type gloss thing. You have to really be quick with it and this stuff here just it really upset me because it's just tried to pull over here and I had to slide it somewhat back over here but you have to really be careful with the fact that if it dries with air bubbles in it you have to kind of work with the nozzle to get the air bubbles out and depending on how much of this stuff you use it has to set and dry overnight because I know I use a lot of it but it comes um, in a clear little bottle I will have to uh, I will find the link for it down uh, on Amazon and I will put it uh, and put the link of it down under this book. The baby with a kitten. 
the, my tree of life as I call it. Oh, there's my bird. I love this bird. This is my favorite picture out of this book. This bird right here. I absolutely love how this came out. And depending on how you look at I use the Pentel hybrid gel pens on this, except for these two out here. But I really, well, take that back. No, I use the gel or the Pentel gel pen metallic hybrid just on the bird. Okay, that's right. I just used it on the bird. This is cute. Now, don't use... Which I am shocked. Okay. That goes... Just to let you know, those hybrids do go through the page. But also, I was going to tell you, um, I must have used something be between it. But anyways, also to let you know that if you do use marker or any type of permanent marker, make sure to have something between the pages to protect the pages behind it. And here's another picture I did of my fox. And let me see if I can find some more. This one I think is cute. And there you go. And there you have it. And like I said, I will put the links that all that you need to know down below. If you like this video, give it a thumb up, thumbs up. And if you really like it and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.